Well, hi folks. Getting to the towards the end of February now. It's going to be my first video for a, probably two or three months now. I've not been fit to do anything it, actually. I got that, that lurgy that everybody's had over Christmas, and then I coughed that much. I actually cracked two ribs, so I've been laid on laid on my back for the last six weeks. So anyway, ridiculous as that sounds. I'm back to fettle now, I'm alright now, thankfully, I thought it was never going to end, so we'll just get on and do a bit of stuff. All I'm going to do today is I'm just going to prepare me no dig bed, which is, couldn't be easier. I'm just going to show you what I put on and how I do it. It's dead simple. As you can see, it's pretty much weed free. So all I'm going to do is put some, I've got a load of leaf mould that's two years old and my potato compost and some other compost. I'm just going to spread it on the top really and that's as, sit, as hard as it gets. I was always a bit dubious about this no dig method thinking oh it's just for lazy people. So I, so I gave it a go and honestly I've never had better results. The soil just keeps getting better and better. I can show you the soil, this is without it not being dug. And it's like that. Fantastic and I just keep layering the stuff on top, the worms do all the work, bring all the compost and stuff into the soil it's always well drained because you're not digging it up and ruining all the wormholes and for me it's, it was a revelation so anyway we'll get on I'll just show you how we do that and that's about it so first of all I need to get some of my leaf mould out this was just stacked full of leaves for two years I left just left it out in the open and I'll just show you the sort of what we're left with after two years no sign of a leaf See if I can get it to the sunshine. Absolutely fantastic structure, just like compost. Won't be any nutrients in it, but it'll be full of humus. And the worms will love that. They'll drag that into the soil and help improve the soil. So I've got to dig all that out and then we'll just spread that on. That'll be the first job. So we'll start by chucking a bit of this leaf mould on. I haven't got a great deal of it, but uh, every little helps. There's no nutrients in it. It's just a really good soil improver. I've got loads of compost to throw on. So yeah, glad to be out getting do doing stuff again. Felt like an invalid the last six weeks. Couldn't breathe, couldn't move. All because of bloody coughing. Yeah, good stuff. Sun's out, spring's coming, there'll probably snow next week, but glad to get this done. So, yeah, just get this stuff spread on. Got about six tubs of this, so I won't bore you to tears. So that's the leaf mould spread on. I don't know whether you'll be able to tell whether you can see it on there. Probably only about half an inch layer, but it all helps every little bit. So that's a leaf mold on at the bottom. Now we'll just chuck the old uh, spent compost on and then give it a rake over, and that's about it. So finally, got all this compost. I've got loads of old spud compost from last year. So not, none of it goes to waste. People ask me what do I do with the old potato compost, and this is what I do with it. So I'll give this a really good thick layer, maybe an inch thick, and again, worms will just take it all down into the soil, feed on it, and improve the soil no end. I've already done that bit, that's why I'm missing that out, so, yeah, so like I said, I can give this a real good, really good thick mulching if, if you will really I suppose really once I've done this keep finding little potatoes in it still once I've done this just give it a rake I'll just give it a rake over let the rain wash it in a little bit and then the worms will take it in and as we say it jobs are good So 
So that's a really good thick layer of the old compost stuck on now. If you can see, good inch or so. So now that's about it, just need to rake it over, rake it to something like flat, and then we're done. No dig, no dig bed completed. So we'll just get on and do that final bit and then that'll be it. So final stage, just a bit of raking just to get it nice and flat and even. It's probably the world's most boring video of all time. Potatoes again. But anyway, people ask me what I do, so this is what I do. No more back breaking digging. Best soil I've ever had. <coughs> oh, excuse me, pretty much zero work back a bit of spreading muck about. Now ideally if you had some rotted horse muck, cow muck, you'd put that on as well just to feed it as well. And then you probably wouldn't even need to fertilise, so. There's loads of different ways of this no dig job, but the main thing is, you don't dig. So I'll just finish it off and I'll show you what it's like when it's totally finished. So there we go folks, all finished now, all raked flat, nice and tidy, not a weed in sight. It's taken me about an hour or so, and that, but that's all I've had to do, all gear on it. Like I say, no digging. Soil will be great, and just plant straight into it. And it's, uh, like I said, a lot easier than digging and it gives great results. So that's about it folks, I've worked a bit of a sweat up, I don't want to overdo it. That's about it folks, first video of, for ages, see you later.